the past two years have been really difficult to maneuver through. I'm sure at some point we began to reevaluate things sooner or later. One being who we spend our time with and who we surround ourselves around. There's a saying that people come and go, and that's true, but we have yearbooks, camera rolls, and photo albums to relive those moments that we shared with one another. I, for one, have less photos of people I find important. So I'm going to break that habit today by taking photos of someone I've known for over five years. And that special someone is her. She's a 30 pound red healer and her name is Dakota. She's become a great addition to the family. I didn't realize how warming it is to have her around until I contracted the virus this past week. I was in pain, I was weak, and most of the days I didn't have the mental, mental? Most of those days I didn't have the mental or physical energy to pull myself together. But there she was every day with a burst of joy, excited to see me. She's extremely protective, very sassy, like, she hates it when you bother her when she's eating or sleeping. She likes to sleep under things and she's very quirky in her own little way. Uh, she's probably going to hate me by the end of today, but let's go get this backdrop set up so we can take pictures of her. No way. All right, we're gonna start setting up the backdrop so that we can take pictures of Dakota. It is very hot. The sun is very harsh. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. As I began taking pictures, I thought the hardest part was getting her attention. So I thought about photographer William Wegman, who was most known for the amazing photographs involving his dogs, Man Ray and Fay Ray, which took portraiture to a whole nother level. It was extremely personal and a true talent for allowing to share the character and the chemistry he's had with his companions. The shoot didn't go the way I thought it would. She was very hyper, and being the dog that she is, Nakota was distracted a lot. I used food, treats, to temporarily gain her attention, but in doing so, it limited the types of facial expressions and poses I could achieve. I still managed to get some good photos though. You know, we always have a vision in our mind of how we want things to go. Most of the time, it doesn't go according to plan. I'm reminded to be flexible and to be content with the outcome. I had fun and I learned a lot from the shoot. If you want to see all the photos and my other work, you can find that on my Instagram. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment the name of your pet. See you soon.